What's this go to? Is this him? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That was that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, I can't even breathe. I can't even breathe. You guys have been begging for it and we are finally here. Egg Harbor, New Jersey at the flagship Spirit Halloween. Holy crap, I cannot believe we're here, guys. Look at this, look at this, I, I just can't. On my way in, I was so excited because I already saw the Spirit Halloween truck and I'm even more excited because I can hear these flags blowing in the wind. Holy crap, guys, there it is. Oh! And what gets me even more excited, guys, for my retail aficionados, this is an old Circuit City. What the heck? Who remembers the old Circuit City commercials where that is a plug and it comes out of the sky and plugs into the ground? Integrate your circuit at the city. Circuit City. All right, I'm just, I'm too excited. I can't stand it. I have to go in. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, here we go, guys. I'm so excited. I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> Holy crap, look at it right there. That gets me even more excited. Here we go. The official first Spirit Halloween of the 2021 season. And who is waiting front and center but Mr. Howell. Look at this guy, holy crap, guys. He's absolutely huge. And there's a small child who just turned him on. Oh my lord. Look how huge he is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so enormous. Mr. Howell. And I promised a special someone, William Gaming, that I would shout him out the first time I saw Mr. Howell. So here you go, buddy, Mr. Howell. Here he goes, he's gonna do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much, he's so enormous. Okay, before we move on, let's just take a second here to appreciate this year's setup. Look at this, Spirit Halloween Factory. Totally awesome. We got chains hanging from it, animatronics all around, and I see swinging chains of death. We have to go through. We have to go through. Here we go. The swinging chains of death. Oh my gosh, what in the world? It's making noises. All right, let's go back through here a second. We got, listen, listen. <laughs> we got broken windows here. We got strobe lights. And when you walk through, it makes screaming noises, scary screaming noises. Okay, let's look at this guy. I don't want to just ignore him, but I don't like him. He's a little bit too evil and creepy for me. His name is Barfamet. Barfamet, I don't love you. Here we go. Okay, enough of that guy. I don't like him. He's a little bit too uh, evil for me but I do see two peeking peerers, and I've already walked through here, so I know that they don't just jump at you. So let's do this one first. It's the Huntress. Okay, come on. Come on, Huntress, here we go. No sounds. I'm disappointed in you, Huntress. You didn't scream at me. But speaking of scream, we have Ghostface right here. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Come on, Ghostface with that. <laughs> I hate it when they just hang back and they don't jump out immediately. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, look at this, guys. We've got Beetlejuice. Holy crap, he's so huge. Look at this, he's on a tombstone. Okay, that's cool. Hello, Mr. Juice. All right, shaking hands with the dead. All right, let's do it. Oh, see you up. This time, put down the charm. Just say it. It's so good. You look like somebody I carry like you. It's so loud in here you can't hear him very well. But he looks pretty awesome. Okay, Mr. Juice, we're gonna leave you alone now and move on. Alright, who do we got over here? Oh, we got Henry Hustle, guys. Look at this. This I, I love this guy. Okay, let's see him in person. Wait, look at his cards. His cards are so awesome. Alright, let's do it. I can't wait. Come Time on, Henry. For a trick. Remember this card. It'll be the last I think he jumps thing. at us. Or it's, oh! <laughs> okay. Look, look at the eyes. All right, Henry, we gotta get you popping back out here. Hold on, we gotta pop him off. Come on, Henry, pop off for Step us. Right here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Look at that face. I love that face. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about him when I saw him online, but he's actually pretty awesome. I love his outfit. Pretty cool. Reminds me of playing blackjack. Holy crap, guys. Okay, we got tons of them over here still, but look behind me right here. Killer clowns from outer space. Sam and Shorty. Look at this. Holy crap. Shorty is actually a lot bigger than I expected him to be. There's Sam. He's obviously not from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, but he's cool. All right, let's do him first. Come on, Sam. Here we go. Okay, there's Sam. I love how they have this, the lights like strobing back here. All right, let's do Shorty. Look, he's got his boxing gloves on and his blue shoes. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to say it, guys, because those are blue shoes. All right, what are those? Okay, <laughs> we got to reserve that for Johnny Punk, though. Okay, here we go. What in the world? I like him a lot more than I thought I would. He's pretty big. I think he's... He's at least four feet tall. I love this guy. His head is absolutely huge. Look. Okay, let's move back over to here and finish some of these. Look, we got punctured Pete. He's, he was out here last year. Look at this guy. He's already going. Harriet Hustle. Holy crap, I don't even think I saw her. All right, let's do it. Harriet Hustle, what are you going to do? Come on, here you go. What's going to happen here? Is that all? You're going to swing with a blade in your mouth? Okay, I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. If you hang Harriet Hustle right next to Henry Hustle, I guess it's pretty cool. But I was kind of hoping that she would, like, flip her head back and scare me or something. Buzzsaw. I love this guy. He's so absolutely enormous. And I have been looking forward to seeing the buzzsaw spin. So let's get this going here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, look at it. I, oh, it ended. All right, let's get him going again. Hold on. All right, buzzsaw. Show me what you got. Here we go. Hammer talking. Spin your buzzsaw. Here we go. I love that. I love the spinning buzzsaw. It doesn't spin long enough, though. Pretty cool, though. Oh, look, we can't miss the jumping spider. All right. Yo, there he goes. <laughs> I love his glowing eyes. Hello, Mr. Spidey. We'll see you again soon. And your brown and red brothers. Look what we got here. Nightcrawler. All right, let's do it. Come on, nighty. Nighty night. Here we go. Nightcrawler is actually one of my favorites because look how creepy he is. Look at how his legs are bent the opposite direction. All right, Nightcrawler, we're moving on. This is one I was really excited to see because this guy is an animatronic, but all of his pieces parts are built into that skinniness of him. Let's see how it goes, Grandma. Oh, look, he reaches for us. All right, that's cool. I was hoping he did more than just talk. The night is young and I'm ready to party. <laughs> you got to take off your hat and clock out first, sir. best be careful where you tread on this dark night. You don't know who you will run into. Creatures and creepy crawlies lurk out from every shadow. Why, I was just hiding in your closet with the other skeletons. Perhaps we let them all out for some fun. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. We got to hear what he could say that time because the music wasn't on. But I, do, I like him. Grim. I think he's about six and a half feet tall. I don't think he's quite seven feet. But oh my gosh, look at this. We got a pumpkin factory going on in the background here. How did I miss this? Pumpkin Carvomatic. Look at this. Pumpkin's coming this way. 
they go on the conveyor belt and they get carved inside there. That is so cool. I love that so much. <laughs> that is so awesome. And then they have uh, Grimm's working the pumpkin line. That's hilarious. Look at this. I love that setup. That is so cool. I love it so much. Let's see if there's something over here. Okay, I kind of expected another jumping spider here, but there's not. So, holy crap, guys. Look who we have here. It is Mr. Dark. I have not watched any videos or anything about this guy yet. It looks like he's absolutely huge, and I would guess he's going to jump high. At least I hope so. All right, let's see. What's this go to? Is this him? All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was going to jump so high. That was awesome. We got to do that again. Look at his face, man. You, sir, just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, guys, Mr. Dark is definitely my favorite so far. Look, my eyes are watering. That was so cool. All right, now that I caught my breath, we have to do it again. All right, here we go. Here we go, Mr. Dark. Come on. Look at that. I cannot believe how enormous he is. And he's so scary. Oh, he is my favorite. Definitely my favorite. So uh, these other ones are definitely going to have to do something totally special to win me over after that. Holy crap. That was so awesome. I don't even want to leave this spot. I just want to stand here and keep him jumping all day long. All right, let's keep moving here. Holy crap. These guys better be good after that. All right, look, holy crap. This is the caretaker. Okay, I got to get a good look at him because I don't know what's up with like these knobby knee looking things here. It's a ball. I don't know what the deal is with that, but let's see what he does. All right, come on. Take a good look at my face. Oh that yeah, okay, I'm looking. Thing you ever see right before I seal your coffin for your eternal slumber. Sweet dream. All right, see, I was half expecting that he would like stand up or something, but he's not going to. He is awesome though. Okay, wait, let's look at the background here, because we got the spirit shop going on in the background, the warehouse. Look at this. That's hilarious. He just drove by and he dumped stuff. What the heck? Okay, I don't know if it was supposed to do that. Ooh! <laughs> I love this setup this year. All right, let's move on. So over here, we have the Night Stalker. I love Scarecrow stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I love the classic Halloween stuff. Listen to him. It just gets more and more extreme as he goes. This factory has worked zero days without an injury. Okay, we got a jumping spider over here. All right, we got the Harvester of Souls. Let's see if he's got, oh, it does look like he's got the fog going. Here we go. That is one of the most awesome props they've ever put out right there. I Look, the fog is still being sucked in. Crap, I'm still trying to catch my breath after being scared by Mr. Dark, man. That He definitely is my favorite so far. Okay, guys, here we go. It's the Wacky Mole. Look, he has green shoes, too. Holy crap. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Wait, look. There must be a black light. Okay, this is a black light because he's glowing. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but he's glowing awesome. All right, let's do it. Come on, Mr. Wacky. Step right up, boys and girls. Who's next to get walloped by my hammer? <laughs> I'll be the first on your block to say, Wacky old club me over the head. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he has like candy corn teeth. Okay, Wacky Mole, you're pretty cool. We're going to move on. 
Okay, so what do we got here? We got Ophelia, which, oh sweet, we got Evelyn Leach too. Look at these, that's the one I really wanted to see. Cause she's holding a head. Okay, we're gonna check out Ophelia first though. Here we go, I have no clue what she does. Okay. Your waking nightmare is just beginning. All right, that's kind of weird. Your terror only makes me stronger. That is a very strange prop. All she does is stand here like frozen stiff because she's so scared and her eyes go back and forth. Look. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'll be right there with you. You can't escape. That is so awkward. Okay, miss, I'll leave you alone with your ghost. Okay, Evelyn Leach, let's see what she does. Ooh, okay. We see you. And we hear you. Is she like sad because somebody else cut her husband's head off? Or what's the scoop? She just cries and shows us her husband's head. What the heck? One more time. She's like, look, they cut off his head. Okay. These are definitely two of the most awkward props I have ever seen. Okay, we have lots of props in boxes right here and there, and there's a pretty cool kid back there. These are all the props that you own? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. How's that? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. No Thank problem. That's so nice of you. Okay, I don't see any other animatronics that are set up. So let's look at the ones that they have in the boxes. We got Man's Possessed Friend, Bubba, two of those here. Let's see what's over here, Animated Doll Greeter. Okay, oh, we get to try her, okay. Is she gonna work? Nope, she's not working. Okay, Fogging Phantom, this is cool. I don't recall seeing this in any of the stores before. I don't know if this is a new one for this year, let's look. I'm not sure, I don't see a year on that. But that is pretty awesome anyway. Oh look, we got the sewer varmint. And this one looks awesome. Headless Jack, what the heck, seven feet tall, or it can be extended to nine feet tall. I just gotta see how big his head, holy crap. Look how big his head is. Oh my gosh. I can't even keep the box open, I'm so excited. Look, <laughs> look how big his head is. That's absolutely enormous. Let's find his face. Oh my gosh. I want it. I want it so bad. Holy crap, if I didn't live in an RV, I would buy that right now. Okay, and then over here we got a Harvester of Souls, and we got another Harvester of Souls over here. All right, let's see what we got over here, and holy crap, guys, there he is. Johnny Punk. All right, you guys gotta do it with me. What are those? I am actually tempted to buy Johnny Punk. I mean, I know I just said if I didn't live in an RV, I would buy that other one. But man, I don't know, Johnny Punk and what are those? All right, we got another Headless Jack here. We got a Fogging Skull Pile. We have more animated doll greeters. Let's see if one of these work. Okay, come on now. Hmm, okay, maybe there's like a little Thing, a tab you had to pull or something, but I'm not gonna mess with it. And we also have the 36 inch animated Reaper greeter, which is, where's his face? Oh, his face is up in there, okay. Try me, but all it is is a hole. I'm trying! We got Sitting Scarecrow over here. Actually, there's two of them, $99. Pretty cool, that's on sale. Oh, hello, Mr. Chicken. What do you think about Spirit Halloween this year? <coughs> yes? Okay, uh-huh. All right, yeah. But could you just like close your mouth when you're not talking, please? Okay, let's look at some of these masks here, guys. Oh, here's Michael Myers. Halloween Kills comes out this year, but I don't think they have a new mask for this year. Um, unless it's just not out yet. What? Look at this Iron Maiden masks. This is honestly one of the best looking masks I've ever seen. I mean, 
<laughs> I don't really like Iron Maiden, but as far as like the art goes of that mask, that is pretty dang good. Ooh, we got Ghostface. Scream 5 comes out pretty soon. Here's Pennywise. There's usually several different Pennywise masks. Look, Raggedy Ann, what the heck? Although it's just called Vintage Ragdoll Mask, but that's totally Raggedy Ann. I always love the vintage masks, that style. Because this is the kind of stuff they sold when I was a kid. Only it was like the cheapest plastic you've ever seen in your life. We'd always step on them and just totally smash them. Okay, let's look at some of the inflatables here. We got a five foot inflatable gargoyle. The haunted tree, you guys know I love the spooky trees. We got an inflatable light up ghost, a skeleton, a wolfman. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I've seen that one before. Light up Frankenstein, a giant skull. Look at this, a huge inflatable light up eye. What the heck? And an inflatable reaper. He's eight feet tall. Man, is it getting loud in this store. Okay, let's look at these dolls. Look, we gotta try me. Where do you try it? I can't figure out where to squeeze the doll and I feel kind of weird. Okay, we're moving on to the eerie Emma haunted doll. How do you try them? I don't know where to, I'm not gonna squeeze dolls anymore, that's it. Okay, we have the creepy zombie babies. I love this guy so much. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this a two-headed cat? It's like a two-headed skinless cat or something. What in the heck? Stitched up pup, it's called. I think it's a dog and a cat. That is creepy. Oh my gosh, we have a baby zombie papoose. <laughs> I've never seen this one before. That is hilarious. Look at that. Swaddled up like a burrito. From now on, your name is Burrito Baby. And we got the bug eater over here, only it's a different bug eater. This looks like it's a, a girl bug eater, I guess. I haven't seen this one before either. We have the crawling zombie baby and the two-headed double baby. We got hanging phantom ghost. Not working. Oh, there we go. Look at this. That's pretty cool. We got a shaking reaper. Oh, yeah. It's party time! <laughs> okay, we got anguished Annie here. <laughs> it's hard to make out what she's saying because the music's so loud. I have no idea. Oh, this is cool. We got a couple of vintage ones here. Let's check out uh, the hanging vintage monster, they call it. Oh, crap. Come on. The vintage hanging devil. He just lights up. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's all they do. Their eyes just light up, but they're pretty cool looking. And we got a mummy over here, okay? Oh, yeah. Shaking mummy. Look at this skull with horns. What the heck? It's hollow. Okay guys, I have given out so many stickers in here today. I still have a little handful left that I can hide somewhere, but we gotta figure out where we're gonna hide them. Charlie had a bucket to put them in, so we gotta find somebody that's got something we can put them in. But where would it be? Hmm. Here's this guy, and he is definitely my favorite of this entire tour. So I would love to hide him somewhere around him. Wait a minute. I didn't do this one. Hold on. Oh, holy crap. I didn't even know what that was. What is that? Experiment number four. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't even know how I missed that one, but that was pretty cool. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. What I think is this guy is so awesome. And I'm assuming the setup for him is gonna be about the same in every store. But in this one particularly, we're gonna put them in this box right here. Okay, what we're gonna do, since this is the first spirit of the season and this is the flagship store, I have 50 of these stickers that I was hiding last year in Charlie's Buckets. We're gonna put them in here. And then I have 50 of the new design. This is the new design for this year. Guys, look, I'm carving a pumpkin. We're gonna also put those in here. So if you guys come in here to get stickers, make sure you only take a couple, leave plenty for other people. And a lot of people have been asking for them, guys. So if you happen to not get them, I'll put a link below where you can get some. Okay, Mr. Dark, you protect the stickers. And here we go one more time. There he is. He is definitely my favorite this year so far. I love him so much. 
and every store that I go into this season, as long as they have him, I'll try to put the sticker somewhere around him. Okay, so here's a ghost face costume with a light up face. I highly doubt his face lights up in Scream 5, but we just don't know that yet. But somebody was asking me to see if they had these ghost face costumes. So they do, and they even have the gloves, and they even have socks. And here's one of my all-time favorites, Nightmare on Elm Street. And I've said this last year, too. This mask here, the Nightmare 4 mask, is one of the best-looking retail Freddy masks I've ever seen. That looks so good. Right behind it, there's a deluxe mask, and that one doesn't even look as good as this one. I love this one. And then they have a couple different kinds of gloves you can choose from. Like, just depends on how much money you want to spend. This is the major one right here. And then it goes a little bit cheaper. And then this one costs the least out of them all. And this one has like those soft, kind of pliable uh, knives on it. They've got Freddy's sweater, although they only have one of them out right now. I would assume they're going to get more. And look, they have Freddy's fedora too. Oh, these are sweet, these Friday the 13th socks. These are so cool. I love the colors in there, the orange. Very Halloween-y. And down here we have... Friday the 13th Jason masks, and here's one that comes with the machete. Oh look, we have a Beetlejuice mask that I believe is new for this year. This is a full head mask here, and this one's just the face. Here we got some Chucky masks over here. I think they have the new Chucky show coming out on TV this year. Good guy's sweater, and a Play Pals toys hat. And then they got their shirts here. Look, this is one of my favorites right here. Let's sacrifice Toby. <laughs> Let's summon demons. Caring for your demon cat. Adopt a familiar black magic animal rescue. Bloody Mary. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at this one. My first knife fight. <laughs> I like this one up here. Creep show. And then H is for Halloween with Michael Myers there. We got the Ghostbusters costumes here. And I think the new Ghostbusters movie is coming out this year, if I'm not mistaken. That actually looks really good. They got the suits for chicks and for dudes. Inflatable Stay Puffed suit. Ghostbuster gloves, belt, the PKE meter, proton pack, that's pretty cool. And look at this, Slimer socks. There's one mask I haven't seen yet, and that's Leatherface. I gotta see one before I go, though, because I'm wearing my Leatherface shirt. And I think this is the only other section with masks. Huh. That's really weird for them to not have a Leatherface mask. I'm sure they do, and I just missed it. Oh, but look, they do have the Toon Squad costumes this year because the new Space Jam movie came out. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this, holy crap. Inflatable balloon animal, that is absolutely hilarious. Look, and it's shiny too, it's not just like a dull red, it's a shiny inflatable balloon animal. Here's some more ghost face costumes in the kids' costumes. Oh, this is a chrome one. Oh, you can't really see it, but it's a silver mask in there. And this is the kind that bleeds. You have like a, let's see, okay, yeah, it's a heart. You have a heart that you squeeze and it puts blood all throughout the mask when you're wearing it. Oh, look, they have the Pennywise side steppers. Look at this. If he was out of the box, he'd be going. Oh, look at this Freddy mug. This is totally sweet. I love Freddy. This is so cool. The whole thing is like Freddy's burned head, his face. And these fleece throws are awesome for movie nights. Look, we got The Shining, uh, The Exorcist. That I used to like that movie, but it's a little bit too evil for me. We got Freddy, Halloween, Michael Myers, Sam from Trick or Treat, The Gremlins, Annabelle, another Halloween, Friday the 13th over here, Krampus, Chucky, another trick-or-treat and we've got oh look at this oh my gosh ghost face all right i i'm buying this i'm totally buying this i love ghost face so much i cannot wait for the new scream movie to come out all right that's mine we got it we got friday the 13th we got another pennywise and we got another pennywise i am so excited about this this is so cool guys Okay, so look at this. They have all this Beetlejuice stuff here, which they have Beetlejuice throws up here. 
And look at this over here. They have the handbook for the recently deceased. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just going to have to have a total spooky movie night because I want to watch so many movies now since I've been in here. Beetlejuice Monopoly. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I almost missed these. Look, we got a sandworm greeter. It's like a candy bowl. And this is a nine foot inflatable sandworm. That is so awesome. I'm thinking they had one of these at like uh, Home Depot last year or something, but I think it might even have been bigger than that. But that is sweet. Okay guys, that is it for the New Jersey flagship store of Spirit Halloween. Guys, that was totally awesome. There's plenty of stuff I didn't get to film in there because in some areas the music was just so loud that you couldn't even hear me talk. So um, yeah, that was just a quick look at it though. I'm so excited that Spirits are opening. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and you may just see me in your Spirit Halloween this year.